What's up guys, this is Cool Hand Hefe, and today we are in the STA2 Senshi. This is a mean machine, not a ton of differences between this and the STA2, except for the fact it looks amazing! And we are on Scorpion Pass, standard battle, the Greens have taken the Northeastern spawn and the Reds the Southwestern. Now, on this meet the tank, meet the STA2 Senshi, in this case, this thing, man, wow. Let's talk about the visuals. You know, there's, I don't think, honestly, there's going to be a lot of tanks aside from the Type 59 Dragon that's going to really beat this tank as far as visuals. I am very, very impressed with the look of this tank. Now, granted, you know, for those of you that are not privy to how the STA-2 does business, this tank is not going to have a lot of turret armor slash hull armor slash any armor. For that matter, what it does have in return is mobility and amazing gun with amazing gun handling, might I add. 212 average penetration with a standard round will really make the red stop and think. This is a punchy, punchy gun and it can really get out there, make some things happen. It's got excellent aim time, accuracy, depression. Just, it's all around a fantastic gun. Now, of course, this mobility and this awesome gun comes at a price, and that price is armor. But you know what? Who needs armor anyway? That's what I always say. Now, back to the game at hand. Enough about talking about the tank itself. Let's get into the actual fact of the matter. Now, as you can see here, we're being kind of pushed by a couple of hold down enemies in that case we are doing the right thing we are backing up because you know what we are not about that getting shot life uh, we're trying to put some rounds on the commander hatch here it's just not happening for us as you can see there someone just took a shot at us from the left hand side at our commander hatch we went ahead and fired a round back and hit the gentleman who was looking off in the distance at someone else t29 very tough tank to handle hull down you have to hit that bad boy in the center on the top that's kind of where his commander hatch is, and it is a one in a million chance, it seems like. Moving on, as you can see here, we have some flankers moving into position. We put a nice little clutch shot in that gentleman right there, and he is getting a little squirrely. We're just going to try to pop up right here and make another clutch shot. Did not happen for us, but that's okay. You know what? We, we're already loaded, and we've got plenty of opportunity left on this map. He is going rabbit. We've got some good shots over here. We're going to put a shot and try to put a shot into the side of that gentleman. Just did not happen for us, but that's fine. Our DPM is going to make it happen. We've just got a crack of daylight where we can see his hull. We managed to stick one in him right there. We go ahead and pour another one into him. And what you got to understand, guys, is this is the definition of hull down. This is probably two hull down. Uh, you know, because there's a good chance my round is just going to hit the dirt instead of hit the target. But you know what I say is early on the games, go defensive, guys. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're not really risking a whole lot. We're being very, very cautious in our beautiful Japanese tank. We don't want to dent the paint. Excuse me, dent the hole or scratch the paint. Uh, put a shot in that gentleman right there. Uh, we just took a round. We're going to go ahead and finish him off. Back to the garage for you. So now we're ready to see what else we got going on here. We're trying to farm some more damage, but you know what? The shots are kind of drying up over here. We're being a little too effective as a platoon, and sometimes, guys, you're going to find out that's often the case. Is sometimes, you know, there's not going to be enough damage to go around, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, put a shot in that gentleman's tracks right there. You're not going anywhere, buddy. We're pulling some good assist off of that, and then we pull some more assist because he gets murdered. Moving on. As you can see here, everything is more or less opened up on this side. We somehow had an IS-3 use his extreme ninja skills to appear behind us. Cloaking dog vice, what have you. I don't know what you want to call it. Klingon technology, I say. Either way, he has crept up behind us. We're going to go ahead and pull up and put a shot into him. He is looking in our direction, and I have no need to be getting on the opposite end of that alpha as you can see here the way his pike nose is pointed i am putting shots in the right hand side of his pike nose which is actually flat to my particular orientation thus his armor is no longer sloped it's at a flat angle to me 
and it makes it a lot easier to penetrate. Now granted, of course, I'm running 212 average penetration. I don't really need something that's easy to penetrate, but you know what, guys? Don't make things harder than they are. So right here you can see we've got, a, I think it's an AFK gentleman. We're just going to farm the mess out of him. I'm kind of concerned somebody's going to be scoping shots at me while I'm farming their buddy because it seems like 90% of the time that's exactly what happens. Either way, though, it looks like the entire team is farming this guy. And we just kind of obliterate him in short order. But you know what? It's a few more pins I picked up for free. I'll take it. Anytime, guys, you can shoot somebody and they're not shooting back, it's a good deal. At least in Senior Fell Handed's book. Moving on. We're looking for some more damage here for the tank game Nature Boy. We've got a couple of rounds here we're going to put in the back of this gentleman right here. He is not a fan. Uh, he is actually on fire. He is super big, not a fan of that. And the game's over, just like that. It was super quick. It felt quick to me. I don't know if it felt quick to you guys. It felt like it was a really, really quick game. But you know what? That's the best kind. You know, we got Ace Tanker Badge, first time out, 28-49 damage, 1909 assist. That's, you know, right under 4K for the first match ever in this tank. It's fantastic. It's just like the STA-2, except most sexy. It's most sexy. Guys, I really hope you enjoy. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Check back in a week or so. We're going to have some giveaways.